Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at determining the winner of an election using the board account method. And we're given this preference summary, which is just a list of all the rankings on individual ballots and the number of ballots on which that ranking occurred. For example, there are 12 ballots where the voter ranked option A first, B second, C third, and D fourth. For the board account method, it's important to understand how a candidate gets points. The candidates score points by beating other candidates. They're going to get a point for each candidate they beat on a particular ballot. So you can go through and count how many candidates they beat, or you could take the total number of candidates, subtract the rank, and come to the same value. For example, you can see in the first column where we have 12 ballots, option A is in first place. That means that A beat B, C, and D. That's three opponents that were beat. So on each one of those 12 ballots, option A should get three points. Another way to come to that conclusion besides counting option B, option C, and option D would be to say, well, there are four candidates altogether and option A came in first place. So four minus one is three. So option A would get three points for each of the 12 ballots. With that in mind, we're going to calculate each candidate's Borda score, which is gonna be the sum of all the points they got on all of the ballots. To organize our work, I've created a table, which looks pretty much like the preference summary. You'll notice that I labeled the number of ballots as the multipliers this time. And that's because however many points a candidate gets in a particular column, we have to multiply times the number of ballots. I've also added a column on the right where we can add up all the points for each of the four types of ballots that we have. So let's start with the first column and the first row. Option A is in first place. As we already saw, we can subtract four minus one to find out that A is ahead of three candidates on that ballot, but not just one ballot on 12 different ballots. So we would have to multiply 12 times four minus one or 12 times three to see that A actually gets 36 points for those 12 ballots. On the other hand, option B was in second place. Four minus two is the number of candidates B ranked ahead of. And we're gonna have to also multiply that times 12. So that's 12 times two, which is 24 points for B. Now option C, was in third place, which means that option C only beat option D. In other words, four minus three or one candidate was behind option C on this ballot. And there are 12 of these, 12 times one is going to give us 12. And for option D, option D was in fourth place. Four minus four is zero. Option D was ahead of no one on this ballot. 12 times zero is going to give us zero. Now let's look at the next column. Option A was in fourth place in the column that has 15 ballots. Now remember fourth place means that option A is ahead of no one on this ballot, zero people. 15 times zero is still going to be zero. No points for option A on that ballot. Option B was ranked third on this ballot. Four minus three is one. Or in other words, option B was ahead of exactly one candidate, option A. 15 times one then is going to give us 15 points for option B on that ballot. Option C was in second place on this ballot. Four minus two is two. C is ahead of two other candidates. That's two points times 15, which is gonna give you 30 points for option C on this ballot. Option D was in first place on this ballot, beating three other candidates. And you can see that by taking four minus one. We have to multiply that times 15. Three times 15 is 45 points for candidate D. And we'll continue in this way, multiplying four minus the rank times the number of ballots. You'll notice that in the first column, we always have 12 times four minus something. In the second, 15 times four minus something. In the third, 13 times four minus something. And in the fourth, 10 times four minus something. The only thing that changes 
is what we're subtracting, which is the rank of the particular candidate. Now we add up all the points. So option A gets 36 plus 0 plus 39 plus 10, which is 85 points. Option B gets 24 plus 15 plus 13 plus 30 equals 82 points. Option C gets 12 plus 30 plus 26 plus 20, which is equal to 88 points. And option D gets 0 plus 45 plus 0 plus 0, which is 45 points. This means that option C wins with 88 points. To check our answers, I'm going to visit MissHearnMath.com click on free calculators, and I'm going to select the board account method vote calculator. All you have to do is to take your preference summary and enter it into the preference summary on the calculator like I am doing here. You can leave the other columns and rows blank, and then we're going to scroll down to see the subtotals you can see we have the same subtotals on the board account calculator as we did in our table 36 0 39 and 10 in the first row for example and then on the right we have the final border scores here 85 82 88 and 45 which is the same as we had in our last column so it looks like we did it right I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to Miss Hearn Mathematics to see more math videos and visit MissHearnMath.com for more free calculators.